first returned to Brazos County, where the number of cases has jumped drastically in just 24 hours. 25 News reporter Hallie Jones has been speaking with city officials about how they're dealing with the spike in COVID-19 cases. After the first two deaths were reported here in Brazos County, a third death has been confirmed and the number of positive cases is causing a great deal of worry for those who work and live in the community. Considering that there are now over 60 cases and a few deaths in College Station, what is the city planning on doing? This is one of many questions residents of Brazos County are asking. The increase is not something that we didn't expect. Um, we've seen the modeling, we've seen what's happened in other parts of the world, in other parts of our country. Uh, and so we've been saying, expect that we're going to see the number of cases increase, particularly as testing increases. In the last 24 hours, the Brazos County Health Department reported an alarming number of more positive coronavirus cases. We're going to be looking at this continuing, this period of growing contagion to continue for months. Right? If we want to bring that down to a more manageable period of time, everybody has to participate. With shelter in place orders being enforced, members of the community are wondering. What can they do in the future to possibly prevent the spread of illness? The challenge is we have to keep doing it and we have to get more people who wholly buy into that stay at home stay in place, whatever you want to call it. As positive cases continue to increase, so is the death toll, as another family is mourning the death of a loved one. It came home to College Station, it got more serious, and then and then ultimately taking my mom's life, it, it got extremely personal. Currently, Brazos County is seeing deadly COVID-19 cases in the elderly. Two patients were both residents of the same assisted living center. What it takes is one person to come into a facility like that that's closed in. In order to get ahead of COVID-19, people must understand the importance of staying home and taking precautions to flatten the curve. Make sure you're washing your hands. Don't go outside unless you have to. And, and if you do, make sure you comply with the, the six foot and I've even changed that to 10 foot, but keep at least 10 feet away from from people that are around you. Now the Brazos County Health Department is scheduled to hold a press conference tomorrow afternoon regarding the number of positive cases of COVID-19. Hallie Jones, 25 News, Brazos County.